glassware is critical to the perfect presentation of our range of beers and ciders. It is the last link in the chain from grain to glass. The beer's head can be destroyed by imperfect glassware impacting appearance and flavour. Branded glasses are designed specifically for that beer and we know drinkers value beer more highly in its correctly branded glass. When drinkers are presented with a poor pint, it is really disappointing. A perfectly poured pint represents the end product of our efforts. Investment in the best raw materials, investment in our breweries, investment in sales and marketing to get that beer or cider to the bar. When a great pint is presented, we get a return on that investment and a drinker is happy to pay for that pint. Unfortunately, our investment in a poorly presented pint is exactly the same, but this drives a negative return. The drinker may not return to the outlet and may never drink that beer again and drinkers are more willing than ever to share their bad experiences. So what can go wrong with glassware that can result in poor presentation? First of all, let's look at how nucleation works. A pint of lager contains around two and a half pints of CO2, but the CO2 needs a rough surface so it can break out of solution. This is why we have nucleation. It means that beer in the glass keeps its head for longer with a consistent stream of CO2 bubbles from the bottom of the glass. To show the power of nucleation, what we've done today is pour a pint of carling into a Worthington glass, something you should never do. What's happening here is the head has quickly dissipated. This isn't because the pint is flat, it has exactly the same amount of CO2 as an ordinary pint. What it doesn't have is the nucleation so it can break out of solution and form the head. You can see this and you can actually see there are virtually no bubbles raising to form the head. But if we pour it into a beer ready glass, What we'll be able to see is this pint still has absolutely zero carbonation, but with this pint, we're seeing lots of lovely nucleation being generated that'll help that pint retain a head for longer. Flat pints can be caused by a number of factors. Over the last five years at Molson Coors, we have not had a single instance of flat pints being caused due to manufacturing issues and it is highly unlikely that flat pints are being caused by nucleation being incorrectly applied. Flat beer can be caused by dirty lines, a gas issue, and rarely a flat batch from the brewery, but most often it is an issue within the glass. One of the easiest to spot reasons for flat beer is dirty glassware. Lipstick, remnants of dairy, grease, or lime scale can all impact the head. Ensure that glasses or mugs used to serve coffees or teas, or even dairy-based drinks such as Bailey's, or wash separately to avoid this happening. Use quash on lipstick prior to washing and make sure your glass washer is fit for the job. Use a good quality rinse aid and detergent like Zenit. The water needs to be changed once per session and the glass washer must be getting to temperature and must be regularly cleaned. Rotors and filters once per day and the full glass washer scrubbed once a week. See our glass washer video for more details on this. More difficult to spot is wet glassware causing flat pints. In the glass washer, the nuclear is soaked by hot water. When it's soaked, it won't work. Stored like this, it can take up to an hour for the nuclear to dry. Until that nuclear is completely dry, the nucleation will not work. Outlets experiencing flat pints at peak times, more than likely it's to do with wet glassware. Here, I'm pouring a pint of Prava into a glass that I've recently removed from a glass washer. We take a look at the nucleation working in this pint. The nuclear is barely working at all, and that will result in a flat pint after only a matter of minutes. If we pour that into what is a beer ready glass, as we can see in the wet glass, there's virtually no nucleation and the head will diminish very, very quickly. In the beer ready glass, the nucleation is working fantastically and the head on that pint will be retained for a considerable time. So what's the solution to wet glassware? Well, you can have more glassware, but that is problematic from a cost and a space point of view. In peak periods, glassware can be stored right way up where it will dry in 10 minutes. This isn't ideal as it leaves the glasses open to items falling into them. A final solution is AirRack, which dries the glasses for you. These are available via Molson Coors. Glass can also pick up residue over time, which can lead to flat pints. Avoiding this relies on correct use of Renovate. Molson Coors recommends using Renovate when glasses are received new and then every two months. If Renovate is used more often than that, 
At best, an account is wasting money. At worst, an account can damage the glassware due to the caustic nature of Renovate. To use Renovate, add three scoops to your glass washer and then wash the glasses twice. Afterwards, you need to rinse the glassware in cold water. Not rinsing can also adversely impact the nucleation. Three scoops of Renovate, wash twice and then rinse. Glassware is vital to the presentation of great beers and ciders. It's vital that when we see flat pints, that we ask the right questions to understand what the issue is, as it is expensive to replace glassware. Escalate to CTS where appropriate, so they can diagnose the issue. It almost certainly won't be a fault with the nucleation, so we need to be certain what that fault is.